Hi guys, it's Faith from A Little Bit of Faith and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be with you today. First and foremost, we're here because of Disney pins. I have, uh, over a quarantine, really just invested some time into YouTube and I found some really great channels and I'll link them below that have just brought so much magic into my life. I am now on the bandwagon. I just wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks and just show you my collection. And, but I have a very, very tiny collection. I just started. So I have about 20 pins and I do have some more on the way. So there will be a video in the future about those. I have a little pin board I made that I wanted to share with you. This is my collection of Disney pins so far. I'm really, really thrilled with it and excited to share it with you. Corner, And I will start with a pin that is a box lunch exclusive from Loungefly. And this is Toulouse from the Aristocats. And this is the scene where they're singing the scales and arpeggios and Marie and Berlioz are, you know, dancing and singing and playing the piano. And uh, Toulouse is over there just painting away. And you can see that the image actually disappears as it moves. And I forget what that's called right now. I want to say holographic, but it's not holographic. But it's got this beautiful little orange color right here and this teal enamel. And this is actually based on a French artist. So you could check that out. Actually, all the kittens are based off of famous French figures. Do you know who they are? This is my next pin. Now this is a Disney classic. This is Mulan's comb. And it is a gorgeous pin. Like I can't get over how pretty it is. And this is what the backer looks like. Now these are lounge fly pins. So obviously they don't have the Mickey waffling. But this is a gorgeous stained glass again with that beautiful teal color and it's got the pink. And Mulan just holds a special place in my heart. Now, this pin I was really excited about. Pinocchio is probably one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. And I personally love playing pool. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. Now I got this on Shop Disney for $17.99. I know it's a little bit of a pricier one, but it is an Ellie of 4000 Let me show you the back. beautiful waffling le and it's got two posts on the sides when i first started collecting i did a lot of research and i found out that if there's not two posts on the side oh, most of the time it is not an authentic disney pin but look at that gorgeous little sparkle in there all right over here in the front i have my mary poppins and bert and mickey pins and this is the jolly holiday scene you can see here so I got these from an Amazon seller and I'm really unsure of if they're real and here's why I'll show you not quite sure so on the back there's only one little post here and I believe when I looked up on pinpicks.com this FAC did not match what they had on there so that was kind of sad but these pins are just gorgeous I will be keeping them Oh, I adore them. Now this one is a box lunch exclusive. We got the little penguin waiters. They are so cute. So now I'm gonna start on my tiny Disney Pixar collection and we're gonna start with the classic Luxo lamp. And this is from a shop Disney. And look at that gorgeous color. So this is like a kind of foam you can see right there. Let me turn it over for you. I just love uh, the Luxo lamp and it's just kind of a classic Pixar thing that I grew up with. Um, if you haven't seen Luxo Jr., definitely check that out. And then I have this cute little Boo pin from Monsters, Inc. Boo is just the cutest. I mean, it's the one character us humans can relate to in the Monsters, Inc. universe. So I think there's a little bit of Boo in all of us and this is... Oh, I 
can't, I think it was box lunch, yeah. So the next two pins I'm gonna talk about actually came on this like little booster pack from Shop Disney. And a lot of people were upset about this, at least in some comments I saw online, because it, although it looks like a booster pack, there are three buttons in here. So this is what the back looks like on my Disney. I have the pin backers in there for the actual pins. And this retailed for $19.95. Now I got it on Shop Disney when it was $12 on sale, but I just went to my Disney store this past weekend and the pack was $11.98. So it was on sale, price down, clearance. So go snap yours if you can. It's got the three little aliens from Joy Story. Honestly, they are squad goals. Just look at them. And this is my girl sadness. Fun fact, I am a teacher and I dressed up as sadness two years ago and actually some of my coworkers dressed up as the other characters, Joy, Bing Bong, Anger, Disgust, Fear. And so sadness is not just a mood, I think she's a lifestyle. Look at that face. <laughs> oh, I know I felt like that these past few months, how about you? Gold sandblasted back look at that beautiful disney castle on the back Woo. so this right here is my og pin okay i got this about five years ago <laughs> and that was the only pin i had until this year but this is the grape soda pin i'm so about it um this is the pin ellie puts onto carl and then Carl puts onto Russell. Um, it is a special, special pin. And here we have our Carl and Ellie couples pin. So this was from Shop Disney. I believe this was from Shop Disney when I ordered it a few years ago as well. Um, or I got it in the park. I can't really quite remember. But this is a magnetic pin. It's really cool. A few magnets on it. And I believe this was $14.99 on Shop Disney, again, official pin trading 2020. It's just a really nice pin. The colors are just super beautiful. And the story of Up is just relationship goals. And my last two pins on this pin board are Wally and Eva. <laughs> So this is kind of like a Christmas pin. Um, you know that scene in the movie when the lights are tangled around her. Um, I adore this pin set. Um, and I actually think it's on sale right now. I, it is uh, from Box Lunch. It is a lounge fly set. And I think it was $12.90 when I got it, but it's literally on sale for like $7 right now. So I would check this out. Look at Wally. No. Oh. And I love Christmas and I just can't wait to put this on a Christmas board. So I have two pins that I ordered from hottopic.com that I am really, really excited about. They are online exclusives, once again from Hot Topic. And the first one is Steamboat Willie. So this is a gorgeous gold pin and it's like a film strip. I don't know how many of you actually used analog cameras before we started getting digital and having phones, but look, my second pin right here is this cute pin of Mike Wazowski and Sully. And look at this, look at this guys. It's a spring, it's got some spring action right there. Now what does bother me about the pin is that Sully's face is kind of covered and I wish the pin kind of was like that a little bit more but you know what I'm okay with it um, and this is gonna go great next to my little boo pin so pumped for this pin um, and Hot Topic I ordered online and you can get it shipped to the store so that's what I did free shipping right to the store and I hadn't gotten an email saying that it had come in so I was just at the mall <laughs> and I checked and said like hey where's my pins but uh they had them. I guess uh, they didn't call or notify me, but I'm just excited to have my pins. <laughs> this next pin I ordered from an online seller from Mercari, and it is this hitchhiking ghost 
Toy Story pin. Now this is not a recent pin. Oh, but look at it. We got Potato Head, Woody, and an alien as the hitchhiking ghost. And it says at the bottom, a toy will follow you home. So I bought this pin from the same seller in this little source for Mickey. And I believe this was from like a pin set with um, the bucket or the broom. Um, I'm not sure when I looked on pin picks, but this is an authentic pin. Okay, one of my last pin purchases uh, that I did was for this fig pin. I actually found it at this local like antique mall. <laughs> It is gorgeous. I got it for $12. Oh, and it is Sorcerer Mickey. I actually ordered this from Box Lunch and then they canceled my order. And that was really sad for me. <laughs> but I found it. Super excited. They actually have one with Sorcerer Mickey that has glitter all over it. And this is not that one. That's why it was only $12. That one goes for a lot online already. But I'm not going to take this one out of the box. I just think I kind of want to keep it in it and keep it as a collectible. Also, I love that backer card, Fantasia. So here is my updated pin board. Super excited. Two more pins I want to show you. <laughs> and I want to just show them how they came packaged, um, just to tell you, this is kind of a red flag if they come packaged in these little baggies. And this is the part of the story where we talk about scrapper pins or just total fakes or counterfeits. So this first pin right here is from Disneyland Paris, and this is the White Rabbit. and. It's a gorgeous pin, like it's not the dipped enamel or anything, but the color is off from the original pin picks. So not sure if that was a factory error or it's just a scrapper or it's a total counterfeit. I'm really not sure still. This is a new journey, new beginning for me. And so the back here, again, kind of like my Mary Poppins and Burt pin. This is another gorgeous pin I'll probably keep, but it only has one post here. And what I really want to show you guys is the waffling. So you can see that the waffling up here near the ear, it doesn't go all the way to the edge. You can see it up there, kind of all the way down. The waffling doesn't go to the edge. And what I've learned in the past few months is that that is a no-no. The waffling should go all the way to the edge. It does say Disneyland Paris. Um, but when I saw some other pins when I was looking for this pin, I believe the pants were a different color and this was not in this spot down here. So I think that would mean it's actually a counterfeit and not a scrapper. I believe the scrapper means it was made in the same factory, but it just didn't meet their standards. Some things are wrong with it. So it could potentially be a scrapper not sure still love this pin <laughs> look at him he's late he's late a pocahontas <laughs> pin it's kind of like it got a stained glass and uh, i knew this was like 99.9 .9 sure that this was a fake and here's why number one this is a wdi pin which is very very hard to get your hands on it's exclusive it's a store in California near Disney I'm um, on the imaginary campus you can purchase it there and this was an Ellie of 300 and uh, you can already tell on the back like this enamel or whatever material this is it, it got all over the back whoever dipped it <laughs> wasn't very clean but it does have that nice you know sorcerer Mickey hat waffling doesn't go all the way to the edge. Don't know if that's a thing on WDI pins. I would assume so. I would assume the quality is spectacular, outstanding. But it is a gorgeous little pin, Miko. Flint. Uh, Grandmother Willow. Canoe. 
some sunflowers, a ship, a compass. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you see where the light enters? You see all those bubbles in there? I don't... I think that's a pretty good rule of thumb that that is not Disney quality. Do you also notice the eyes? On a pin that's kind of this large, and this is a pretty large pin, it's the size of all four of my fingers together, you'll notice that in the eyes, it's just totally an iris, no pupils. Um, the nose doesn't really have much detail, neither do the lips. Losing some detail on that like gold lining of her arm. I just wanted to say before we wrap this up, first and foremost, I am in no way, shape, or form an expert when it comes to Disney pins. Beware of the scrapper pins out there. Those huge lots on eBay that have like 50 pins for $50, not real. And then the unfortunate thing is people take them to the parks and they trade them and there are a lot of fake pins in the parks which is not fun for guests that are trading and actually purchasing booster packs so just be aware of that what really inspired me <laughs> i was just watching tim tracker tim and jen and watching all their videos and they did these videos uh, i think a few years ago about pin trading in the parks and i personally have never pin traded in the parks i do have a trip planned and i know with covid and everything it may not happen. I know they have pin boards out, but cast members are not trading with guests. At this point, you can't trade with pin boards, but I assume it's not gonna be, you know, as exciting as if you're on the prowl looking at everyone's lanyard. And I think that's half the fun of it is just interacting with the cast members because they make it really special. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Bye.